Alright, so here we've got a Husqvarna 125B handheld blower. Um, blower won't throttle up, just bogs and bogs. It idles fine, but just bah, bah, when you go to hit the throttle, uh, no matter how it's adjusted. Filter's good, fuel line's good. Basically, I've diagnosed the carb's bad. Um, it's pretty common on these, that's why the carburetor's so cheap. Here you see me taking off the air filter box. Those are two 8mm nuts inside that box. Just fish them out with a magnet. You gotta move the choke over a little bit so it'll pass by the box. Here you see me fidgeting with it. I'm trying to get it up out of the way. Sometimes I can get them to stay. And, oh, today wasn't one of those days. So Take the primer out of the box just by clipping the two tabs. Not clipping, but squeezing in on them. You have to take the shroud off to get the throttle rod off. And so you got three four, four millimeter Allen heads right here. Pick up the third one. And then you got four T25 Torx bits. Holding on the recoil. I was doing that a lot more gently than it looks in the video, just to pop the seal on the top of the shroud. Again, these are T25 Torx bits, self-tappers that go into the crankcase itself. Shroud just pops right off. Boop. Just like that. This procedure is also the same if you're changing the ignition coil, which you can see right there. Then you just slide that off. Fish that out of the throttle rod. You get the primer line right here. That ticking you hear is my blue tick beagle mix, Georgia, walking around on my living room floor. Let's pop the gaskets off right here. The part number for the carburetor is 590. Slide the new gasket on. Slide the lines on. I do this now just to minimize fuel leaks. Um, keep the stink down. That's the old one. Grab the new one. Put that one on. Uh, sometimes carbs will come with new gaskets. Sometimes they won't. Um, so if you think you're going to need new gaskets, just might want to order them just to be safe. Better to have extras. When you're putting these shrouds back on, be careful. Uh, don't try and force anything. 
uh, they should just click right together so you can see me here kind of just kind of easing it in there fumbling with it a little bit um, basically the part that I had to get it over was the plug boot and right there she goes nice and smooth put the recoil back on Screw the T25 Torx bits in. Screw the four millimeter Allen's back in. That was just me putting the ID tag for my work back on it. So we can keep track of who's is who's. Put the primer back on. the eight millimeter nuts back in to hold the carburetor in place there's two of them I prefer to tighten these by hand because it is just a pretty much a bolt that sits inside of a plastic base on the intake and it's super easy to break them with an impact um, double check the primer make sure she's priming Put the air filter back cover back on ready to rock and roll if you uh, like my video agent I know my videos aren't the best quality but they'll get better don't worry